Hey folks, thanks for joining me once again. Well, this time around, we're going to be having a look at a brew that comes from the Belching Beaver Brewery of California in the United States of America. Beaver's Milk Stout, which comes in at 5.3% alcohol by volume. Now, uh, being a milk stout, it's uh, of great interest to me. I'm um, quite taken with uh, this uh, style, actually. Uh, I did uh, have the chance to try a couple more off camera in the UK, and uh, I enjoyed them immensely. But um, this is one of the few that uh, I've been able to uh, track down in Australia. So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, crack off the cap and uh, make an assessment of it. All right, and I'll uh, pour it out into this uh, Spiegelau stout glass. Nice pour there. And we got uh, a decent uh, amount of uh, head there too. Yeah, it's certainly uh, very effervescent, uh, very frothy. Yeah looks really good so as far as the appearance is concerned it's um very uh dark brown almost black to camera i imagine it would look black and uh yeah we've got uh over two fingers of uh yeah really frothy tan head there all right so uh, on to the uh aroma wow all right, well, I'm definitely picking up uh, some chocolate there and uh, a hint of uh, coffee. It's definitely um, yeah, very uh, malt, uh, malt forward as far as the aroma is concerned. And uh, I believe that uh, they also use rolled oats and uh, a lactose in this brew as well. I mean, making it a, um, the lactose making it a milk stout. All right, so um, we've talked about the appearance and um, we've uh, talked about the aroma. That could only mean it's time for the most important part of the review, the taste test. So uh, cheers to you all. Let's dive into this one. Mm. All right, well, um, up front, the taste really does follow the nose i'm getting a huge hit of malt there uh, there's definitely some coffee bitterness lingering in the palate as well but uh, there's definitely that uh, you know taste of dark roasted malts of chocolate it's very smooth it's uh, very full bodied you could say and it's absolutely delicious on that note i must have another gulp Okay, well, it's really continuing to impress. As far as um, the overall flavor goes, it's just a really tasty, delicious brew that, uh, you know, I can't fault uh, flavor-wise. It's really something. Um, <clears throat> what would I say in terms of um, its drinkability? Well, at 5.3%, uh, ABV, it's quite drinkable. Is it something you could session? Well, to a degree, I suppose. Uh, <clears throat> what uh, would I say in terms of the price point? Well, it's probably best left um, unsaid because, um, yeah, I, I hate to sound like a broken record. And uh, here in Australia, folks, I mean, beer in general is just um, way too expensive for what it is. But uh, that's mostly due to taxation. So, um, yeah, for he from here on in, I'm not really going to uh, mention the price point. You can just assume that uh, it's uh, ludicrous for me, unless I'm overseas <laughs> where, um, yeah, the prices are very reasonable, like the US, for instance. Anyway, I think it's time for me to wrap this up and give it a score out of 10. Hmm. 
Okay, all in all, it's a very solid brew. There's nothing offensive about it flavor-wise. It's absolutely delicious. It's a, it's a fine example of uh, this uh, particular style. Yeah, I can't recommend it uh, to you highly enough. It's just so, yeah, smooth, delicious, and just absolutely, yeah, tasty. Okay, so um, a score out of 10 for uh, Beaver's uh, Milk Stout. I think it's uh, deserving of a 10 out of 10. So uh, there you go, folks, a 10 out of 10 for Beaver's Milk Stout. All right, well, uh, I'm just going to kick back and enjoy the rest of this as I do. It's my first beer of the day, so, um, yeah, I'm going to uh, enjoy it and then follow it with another one <laughs> while I edit this video. All right, so until next time, folks, fare thee well, all.